Hey folks, Crazy Climber Eddy here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Twin Cobra, and this was created by Toaplon and licensed to Taito in 1987. It also says Romstar on the cabinet, but that was true with a lot of arcade cabinets back in the day. It Romstar had nothing to do with this game, really. But um, this was suggested by YouTube user Martin Hernandez. This game was also known as Kyoku Tiger. But uh, you can play one player or two player simultaneous play. It's a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up. And a very, very good one for its time for 1987. Um, yeah, like I said, you, you pilot a helicopter and you move vertically and shoot down various enemies. Um, there are some good power-ups for its time. Um, there will be S's that might be released by some enemies. Usually it's a, a giant uh, helicopter that you take down to release the power-ups. There will be an S, and that increases your shot power-up, your shot power. Uh, there will be bees, and that will give you an extra bomb. You have a bomb as a secondary weapon with limited stock. And that bomb will release a wide explosion radius for a few seconds. You want to save those for the bosses, and there are bosses at the end of each level. I don't know how many levels there are. Probably, uh, probably a ton. Um, the game is, is endless as far as I can tell. Um, but sometimes enemies will release a colored ball, and that ball will change colors. And depending on what color it is when you touch it, that will, de that will determine what weapon you'll get. The, the red ball will give you kind of a double shot, and you can increase the the number of shots that you fire as you pick up more uh, S's. And that might also increase if you get that same colored ball as what you recently picked up. And I believe your chopper is the same color as the weapon that you have. See, I just have the double right now. Um, the green is the laser. Uh, blue is a spread, and I love the spread. It's great in this game. But yeah, you collect that floating S to uh, increase the shot power up. See, now I have more than just double now when I shoot. Uh, blue is the spread, and then yellow ends up being a four-way shot. But yeah, I think blue is my favorite, the, the spread. There will sometimes be stars that will appear when you shoot certain buildings or something some enemies and those stars you simply collect and you will cash in for bonus points uh, after you beat a boss at the end of a level yeah that giant uh, carrier there hella carrier that's uh, that is what usually releases the uh, the uh, floating icons that you can pick up this game is you know, for seasoned uh, shoot 'em up veterans, there's the laser. For seasoned shoot 'em up veterans, this is really quite easy. But for those who aren't seasoned uh, shoot 'em up veterans, who who aren't quite used to bullet hell, perhaps this is a good game to kind of uh, oops to kind of uh, inundate them into the uh, shoot 'em up. Uh, games so that they can learn the uh, intricacies of the of the uh, genre you uh, uh, you can continue the game will not prompt you to continue when you run out of lives it just kind of sits there for a while there's no countdown and then after it sits there for a while then you can put in your initials or you'll get a game over and once you put in your initials then the game ends so uh, it won't tell you to continue it won't prompt you so uh, after you lose your last life 
put in a, another credit and press start to continue. Keep that in mind. Yeah, those tanks uh, definitely don't waste the opportunity to pick them off because they can uh, they can uh, shoot you from all angles. Yeah, shoot down that helicarrier there to get the bomb uh, shot power up or the uh, colored ball. But I, I do like that spread quite a bit. That, uh, the icons sometimes seem to try not to let you get them. And that was the last boss of this first stage. Now if those, uh, if those uh, uh, icons are trying to get away from you and you're under heavy fire, just wait until there's an opportunity to go get it. And now we get our points tallied up for all the stars that I picked up. One thing I wish this game had would be, uh, you know, drone fighters that you can collect to, to shoot whenever you shoot. I like that in games and they don't have that in this. Uh, I like that in uh, shoot 'em ups Picked up another spread uh, icon. Yeah, the spread is my favorite. For, for those who like to uh, weave left and right, sweep back and forth while they shoot in games, that works well in Twin Cobra. Or at least that's been my experience. Just kind of sweep left, sweep right, draw the enemy's fire away. Seems to work well in here. Those battleships uh, may release a one-up uh, when you, you shoot the top of them where a star would, would usually be. So uh, keep that in mind. They might, they might have a, a one-up, and it'll say one-up, and you just go and collect it. You get an extra life. There's opportunities uh, later on in the game, too, to get that. But yeah, sweeping left and right seems to work quite well in this game. But yeah, this for its time, it's a very good uh, shoot 'em up. I mean, 1987 was very, very early for shoot 'em ups, really. And it's a, it's a good game for for those who aren't really seasoned in the shoot 'em up department. The, oops, the difficulty isn't overbearing, at least early on. And it, it gradually increases at a, at a decent pace. Uh, I might have said before I don't I don't know how many levels there are in this. Um, the game I believe is endless. Yeah, these these large ships have like a core that you need to shoot several times to take down. There was a. Uh, NES release of this. There was probably a release of this for several uh, home systems. And there was a uh, Twin Cobra 2. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Again, this game is also known as uh, Q Kyoku Tiger. Strange that its uh, U.S. name has Cobra in it, and then the Japanese name has Tiger in it. <laughs> they uh, couldn't settle on one animal. <laughs> and here is the boss of this second level. Ah, stay out of. Uh, see here, I needed to put in a coin to. Uh, continue 
but I took so took too long, and now uh, it's game over. Don't uh, rush up to the enemy to drop bombs, because they can easily shoot you down. Just drop a bomb when the time is right. So yeah, I gotta put in my initials, and then I uh, my game will end. I don't know how they determine what area you're at. It says 47. Oh well. I'll show you uh, the other. I'll show you all the uh, weapons that you can collect and what some of them powered up look like. See, there's the yellow uh, colored uh, orb that floats around when it's yellow. Pick it up, and here's your here's your shots. At least somewhat powered up. See, it's four way. Kind of cool. And then this is the blue one, the spread that I like so much. It it, it is great. I love it. And here it's way powered up. Very, very nice. And then, here is the red, which is, it starts out as the double, but it can increase in the amount of shots that you fire at once. See, look at that. That's pretty nice. Gotta admit, that looks pretty nice. And uh, now let's look at the green, the laser. And they fire very, very fast. Very nice. I like that. You can get more uh, laser shots to fire at once, I believe, with, with more power-ups. And there's the end of that level. But that was Twin Cobra by Romstar. Well, no, well not by Romstar, but Toa Plon and Licensed to Taito. Uh, this is Crazy Clan Radio saying thank Thanks for watching Twin Cobra by Toa Plan and Taito in 1987. I'll catch you later with another video. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.